Hi my friends, in this episode we are going to see how important is vocabulary. Vocabulary is a number of words you know in a language. Whichever language you want to become a public speaker, whether it is English, whether it is your mother tongue, Hindi, whatever language, whichever language you want to become, you should have a good command over the English or the language. Let me give a quotation of uh, J.K. Rowling. All of you know J.K. Rowling became popular in her book, the Harry Potter series of books. She says, the most important thing is to read as much as you can, like I did. It will give you an understanding of what makes good writing and it will engage your vocabulary. It applies to any uh, calling. If you are a chess player, if you want to be an expert in that, you should know as many moves as possible. If you are a cricketer and if you are a bowler, you should know as many variations of bowling as possible. If you are a batsman and you want to be a world's top class batsman, you should know the number of ways you can face the same ball. So variety is very, very important. After all, in public speaking, you are communicating. In communication, you should be able to match. As I mentioned earlier, it is not mouth to mouth communication or mouth to ears communication. It is mind to mind communication. So you should have a good command. How do you get good command? Simple. There are only four ways. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. It's popularly known as LSRW. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. By listening. Now today, with the advancement of technology, any skill is in your fingertips. You should listen to as many uh, speeches as possible. Vocabulary is, how do you get vocabulary? By reading. How do you get reading? Not only by books. You know, those days, there were only print media. Today, audio books are available. You can listen. These days we spend a lot of time in traveling. Easily an hour is spent on traveling. Is that not time for learning a new language? Next time when you uh, listen to a, a news reader, listen the way he is uh, putting forth this point. Next time when you listen to your favorite speaker, look at the way he is using language. Listening. Then speaking, especially if you have a problem of speaking, speak more and more. If you have a problem of, uh, let's say, running, run as much as possible and see whether you can overcome your whatever difficulties you have. Speak. Every day spend 10 minutes to speak. Reading, already I said. And of course, writing. Read as many books as possible. Now, do not go for a public speaking unless you have collected a lot of data. Let's say today we are passing through a pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. If you had to address a group of people on how to protect yourself, read the latest uh, 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 findings, research on pandemic. Find out the medical terms, correct medical terms. So vocabulary is very, very, very important. While you are learning a new language, there are a couple of things you should know. The dictionary meaning of a word and the contextual meaning of the word. How do you use that word is very, very, very important.
Make it a point to learn minimum a five words every day. And maybe you can have a quota for every week. How many words you should learn that day. And do not go to bed unless you have read so many words. And not only that. Let's say that you have a word beautiful. Find out the other forms of the same word. The noun, the verb, the adverb, the adjective. For example, beautiful is an adjective. We say it's a beautiful child, it's a beautiful city, it's a beautiful picture. Beautiful is adjective. Beautifully is adverb. Beauty is a noun. Beautician is the person who makes you beautiful. Beautify is a verb. Beauty parlor is a place where you go for becoming beautiful. So this is very very important. So vocabulary is very very important. Make it a point from today. Read newspapers. If you are a lawyer, if you had to argue a case, every day the legal section comes out with something or other. Underline every word that you do not know. Make it a point to know every word. Read as many novels as possible, stories as possible. It's not easy to develop reading habit. So how can you do that? Have a selective reading. You cannot read everything of anything. If you are a sports person, read everything on sports. If you are a lawyer, read everything on the latest development of law. If you have interest in political science, read those sections. The correct use of words is very, very important. You know, we talk about tooling, T-O-O-L-I-N-G, tooling. A good technician should have as many tools as possible before fixing a problem. Next time, when uh, you give a complaint that your TV is not working or your fridge is not working and the technician comes, look at his toolkit, he will be having small little things. The right type of tooling is very, very important. In an industry, tool room is a very important place. You heard of the word skill set? A set of skills? A basket of skills? If you have a good combination of certain skills like technical skills and non-technical skills, you will be able to be successful. Similarly, what is a toolkit? To a technician is vocabulary to a speaker. Remember this always. Not only that, unless and until you know the right word, the right usage of the word, the right dictionary and contextual meaning of the word, you won't be able to be a good communicator. Supposing you are addressing an audience, you should know what type of an audience they are. Are you addressing a ladies club? Are you addressing a rotary club? Or a lion club? Or a group where scientists are going to be there? Or is your audience going to be predominantly political parties? Appropriate words you should know. While reading, read as many as literature as possible. There could be certain words which will accurately convey the meaning. One word will communicate the meaning which hundred words cannot. And not only that, there will be regional differences in vocabulary. For example, in India, different parts of India, people speak different types of Hindi. In Tamil Nadu, different parts of Tamil Nadu, people have different usage of words, vocabulary. So, you should have a good command over the language. This is very, very, very important. 
I want to quote one more quotation when it comes to importance of vocabulary. Evelyn Waugh says, one forgets words as one forgets names. One's vocabulary needs constant fertilizing or it will die. So a good command. Now I am learning Hindi. The more and more and more I apply this reading, writing, listening and speaking, the more command I will get. So make it a point from today. Every day minimum 5 words. Every day minimum 1 hour of reading. If at all you decided to be a good public speaker, there is no alternative to know as many words and have a good command over the language. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe so that you get updates on this topic. All the best.